so I'm in the middle of my morning run and I was thinking about this war with Russia and Ukraine well, the, of Russia on Ukraine and you know, one of the terrible things about the war, this war or any war for that matter is the fact that it imposes a particular context on each of us you know, uh, we are living in a world where there are many different contexts and we can you know, make uh, shifting movements pivoting from one context to the other and that is our freedom that is very central to our liberty so when somebody or some events imposes impose a particular context on us that deprives us of the ability to be uh, free to think in any ways we like and to act in any manners we love to do so you know this war between russia and ukraine or rather of Russia on Ukraine, imposed on the Ukrainian people, is terrible because it imposes a certain um, context of survival and fighting and, you know, being put in a hardship. And, you know, it's bad for Mr. Putin too, because before this war, there could be many contexts for Mr. Putin, uh, you know, a lover of that uh, art of judo, karate, all these martial arts and maybe a lover of dogs and a lover of arts and so on. But now he's uh, waging this war and that would uh, have made a particular s strong context on him. And you know, it's <clears throat> not really great for Mr. Putin as well. So um, I think um, war is terrible for everybody. And this everybody includes Mr. Putin. So we should really stop this war. It's a monoculture of the worst kind uh, because it deprives us of the freedom to you know, choose from the various contexts that we uh, uh, that exist today in this world. You know, there are many different contexts between Russia and Ukraine, the historic cultural, um, you know, connections and people's networks and all these things are lost now because of this terrible and ultimately stupid war so we should stop this war because it's bad even for mr putin with a total i keep my money around